No fear tonight, it's not something you want to hear. Florida is ranking third in the country for human trafficking, and Miami-Dade County leads the state in cases. State Attorney Catherine Fernandez Rundle held an annual trafficking forum, and this year's focus is on missing children. CBS4's Jacqueline Quinn talked with a survivor and has her powerful story. You feel really guilty about how things happen, and I think that's like a big, a big thing. It was very difficult for 17-year-old Sienna Martinez to talk about what happened to her. But she, with her mom's permission, wanted to be a voice for other victims who may be too afraid to come forward. But I was actually like uh, trafficked at 14. Uh, it was from my middle school. Uh, I was, I, I, I think I was, I was, I was groomed honestly online for like a long time, ever since like 11. Martinez tells us young people don't have the life experiences to understand they're being manipulated, and that's how perpetrators traders get them. It was like online chat rooms, uh, people pretending to be like anime characters, people pretending to be just random people and you wouldn't know who it is. Martinez's case happened during the pandemic. And I, I was homeschooled, so I, I literally didn't have any friends. I was home <laughs> all the time and I didn't have anybody my age to talk to. She realized something wasn't right. And so she went to police and she says the detectives created an open environment to talk so that her perpetrator could get caught and later sentenced to 25 years. As a destination city, uh, we're already we are already going to be a magnet for the bad guys and for them bringing the victims and looking for victims here in our community. That's why State Attorney Catherine Fernandez Rundle says her office and the Human Trafficking Task Force has been working to develop new strategies of intervention and training. We know it's going to attract, and we know it, during Super Bowl alone, we made over 20 arrests of perpetrators. Law enforcement has also become more advanced at tracking down perpetrators, but it still happens every day. I know that we're doing a better job of finding them, rescuing them, arresting the perpetrators, and prosecuting them. And the state attorney also shares, in the U.S., one in three runaway teens are recruited for sex within 48 hours of leaving home. Let's not blame the victims of the situation because they are children um, and let's make like a more comforting environment for those so that they can speak out. Martinez now looks back with a renewed determination to fight the stigma of victims of human trafficking so that they can get help. In Miami, I'm Jacqueline Quinn, CBS 4 News. Strong young woman.